it is right-hander Brent Honeywell Jr. And you see the numbers from 2017. We said it in the open. September the 19th of 2017 was his last game that actually counted. This one is lifted into right. Rosarena toward the line, and that ball just fair makes the catch. Round ball, and the Rays have the defense set up perfectly. Mike Brasso on the shortstop side, a second is there. So that's a 4 3. The 0 2 on the ground to first. That's going to be handled unassisted by Diaz. And so after a wait of 1,281 days, Honeywell Jr. comes back and has a perfect first inning. Yes. There's strike three call. So Stanton is caught looking, and Honeywell picks up his first strikeout. 3 2 pitch. And uh, there is a swing. Torres tried to check, and on the appeal down to first, Jim Wolf says he went around. Torres had dropped the bat. Odor. And he is out in front, and lifts a high popper on the right side. Rosso stationed in shallow right takes care of that. So two, one, two, three innings for Honeywell Jr. Round to BP. There's a fly ball in deep to left, and that baby's going to get out of here. Home run, Zanino. And the Rays take a 2 nothing lead. Well, there you go. Waited on that one. And then exploded. Deep to center field. Going go back on the track at the wall. See ya. A long home run for Gio Urshela. And the game is tied at two. Boy, that Yankee dugout, that Yankee club really needed that swing of the bat. And Zanino hit that two run shot. You're playing from behind again, and Urshela open. This could be two. There's one. There's two. A run does score, but boy, they needed that double play. Yankees lead 3 2. Waka with that cut fastball can get in on the hands of a left-handed hitter. Brasso with a long backhand flip. Adamas with plenty of arm strength to complete the double play. Ground ball. Backhanded. Padlow's long throw from third is there in time. And Stanton is out of there. Randy Rosarena lifts a high fly ball into right with some carry. Judge is going to go to the wall, and that baby is gone. Rosarena with an opposite field home run. And the Rays retake the lead. Diaz scores in front of him, and Rosarena touches the plate. How about the carry on that ball right there? You know, we, we saw a Rosarena put on a power display in the postseason a year ago. Chopped toward first. LeMayu steps on the bag, and that will do it. But the Rays take back the lead. Oh, look out. Meadows hit by that pitch. The Rays will come out. And check Austin. Well, Dwayne, 19 games, two are already in the book. Yep. Got the hit yesterday. Uh, Joey Wendell got hit again yep. in the helmet, no less. Yep. That fastball up and in. Jordan Montgomery is a command and control guy. That right there is not one getting away. I'm sorry. It's just not. Well, the umpires are getting together. They know the history of these two clubs and what? the warnings. Cut and a miss. So Rochelle out on strikes this time. Man left at second. Taking ball in the dirt. 
Strike three. Zunino down looking. There's a little tap to third. Out in second and out. Line drive. It is a base hit to left field. Judge is coming home. The throw is not in time. It is a big RBI single for Glaber Torres, and the game is tied at four. And it just spins middle up. Glaber Torres shortening up a little bit with his swing. The line drive to left field was curious with the Rosarena in left. If Phil Nevin, the third base coach, would send Aaron Judge, he does, and the throw way offline. Labor Torres first RBI of the year is a big one. And a little check swing ground ball. There will be a play at the plate and Judge is out there. So Judge cut down trying to score and Hicks advances to third. Three two. That one is looped into center field that is going to be in there for a base hit in front of Phillips. Scoring is Hicks. And a big RBI single for Odor, and the Yankees take a 5-4 lead as Torres moves to third. Rounded up the middle, a base hit. Scoring is Torres. Odor moves to second. It's an RBI single for Sanchez, and the Yankees lead 6-4 in the 10th. And that is a base hit to right field by Urshela. And it gets by Margot. And it'll go to the wall. Odor scores. Sanchez is coming home. He will score. The throw to third is not in time. And the Yankees lead 8-4. to four. Now if they give Urshela a triple there. It would be the cycle for him. Or they might give Margot an error. We'll see how they score it. Nonetheless, it's 8 4 Yankees. The two out hitting continues. Urshela having a huge afternoon. Margot can't come up with it. That's got to be an error, I would yeah, think. I think so, too. It is and the payoff. Fly ball, center field. This should do it. Hicks is there. And the Yankees win eight to four. They salvage the final game over. Yankees win. The Yankees win.